I don't know how much you know about me, Ben. Uh, not not that much. Okay, so uh, I started off making videos on Vine. I heard, yes, I've heard that. So my career started in six seconds, and your career ended in six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it's a good joke. What was the last thing you <laughs> remember five, though. before <laughs> Jorge Masvidal <laughs> needs you in your ear hole? Just have her speak to you. And then, Facts. <laughs> and then it was up like a rocket ship. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll get I'll get these jajas and hahas down, dude. Exciting sure. episode I, today. Just promise me okay, in the middle cool. of having go, like you, you go for it. Okay, go for it. <laughs> no, if you wanted to say something else during my intro, go. Up, it's fine. Do it now while you can, or do it when I start talking again. <laughs> Could you just leave poor George alone, dude? What were you gonna say, George? <laughs> no, I got no. Stop. What were you gonna say? Say it. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Who got an excited? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. We got an exciting episode today. A surprise guest is uh, is happening off the cuff. I want to bring him on. Our guest today is an Olympic wrestler, an MMA mainstay, including UFC and the Bellator, and one world welterweight champion. He's been top ten in the world in four different sports, and on April seventeenth, he's fighting my brother. Jake Paul, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ben Askren. We usually chant the name, but you're fighting our friend. So <laughs> we'll just we're not stick doing with that. the clap. <laughs> we'll just the clap for this one. This is crazy. Yeah, that feels good. You know, clap's here, good. Here you are in Encino. Absolutely. In LA, right? You're here for yes. what, a, a week? Uh, I'm here for a week, training with Freddie Roach. It's been going really well, having a lot of fun with him. For sure. We're, we're going to get into it. We're going to dive in. But, you know, Ben, this one hits close to home. Like obviously, you're fighting my yeah. brother. You're fighting my blood. Yes. On April seventeenth. I mean, that should be normal for you. you. Fought him probably plenty of times. Uh, we had one actual physical fist altercation, but it's interesting because, you know, I want to be a good podcast host. I want to be respectful <laughs> of our guests. Sure. But in a way, you're also fighting me because I'm the really. Brother. Well, he's my blood. I have to. I have to love and support him no matter how ridiculous hmm. he could be sometimes. That's my family. You only got one of those. Yeah. And, and, and so and so I have to ride with Jake, obviously. So, I mean, of course. obviously this one hits close to home. Besides this podcast, this is this is probably the closest you'll you'll be get to fighting Jake. Really? Minus on April 17th. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, I'm actually thinking I'm doing something with him next week. Oh. Uh, not like, you know, we're, we're going to be in the same place at the same time. Oh, okay. And what, so. do, you, what do you think you're going to be doing? I was going to ask. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk to him a little bit. No, I don't know about TikTok. I don't get that. I don't understand it. I'm too old for that shit. Right, right, right. But um, how I mean, old, I have the same. Old? I'm 36. Okay. Well, same, same with him. On the show too, Last three guests were yeah, 36. So literally. He's kind of old. I, you know, I have the same thing, though, because I have a younger brother. And, you know, I would say I'm friendly with a lot of people he wrestled, right? He competed also national champ. And, um, you know, wrestling me is not huge. So by the time he was done with his career, I was friendly with a lot of people he competed against too. So, I, you know, I get it. It's like, you, but you can't hate everyone that they, they compete with. No, and I don't. Uh, I, I, I will say, I think wrestling is different than fighting. Like, he, he obviously takes fighting very seriously. I do. And mm -hmm. more so than just the fight, I think, and you've realized this by now, Jake is like, uh, he's a marketer. He's here to sell the yes. fight. He's here to make headlines. He's here to clown you, dog you in any yeah. possible way you can. He called your wife thick. Yeah, right? I thought it was hilarious. Thick. I mean, I, I didn't really understand. <laughs> maybe it's generous thing, or maybe it's just because I have a lot of security in my relationship, but I didn't really see how that could be offensive. Like, does she, does I, find she, her, I find her attractive as well. Does she uh, want no piece of, of, of this fight game? Because, you know, yeah. Jake, Jake's the dude. Like, you got you got kids? I got three kids. We got eight, six, eight five, and three. Okay, and they yeah. haven't made their way into the, the fight talk yet? Um, No. Uh, they, you know, Alex and Andy wrestle. They're both girls. Ozzy, he's just a little smashing machine. He's only three years old. Mm. Uh, no, they don't really get it yet. You know, I've fought, my, I've fought since they've been alive. They don't really understand it. They don't get You know, we just don't, like, talk about it a lot. That's weird. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just like... It's, it's kind of a weird concept that like, hey, what I did for a living was like, I got in a cage and I fought people with my bare hands. Like Alex, the oldest, we would always tell her I, I fought tigers and she thought that was the coolest thing and she was entertained by it. But we never said like, hey, daddy goes and he tries to like hurt other people. <laughs> That's so, his job. They, right? they haven't seen your fights? Uh, no, I don't think so. Thank God. I mean, yeah, they, they, they know I wrestle, right? They know I coach and I'm always there, but they don't. Yeah, we've never taken them to any fights. So they, I, to my knowledge, I've never seen them. Who knows? You know, Alex is eight now, so maybe her friends like showed her on an iPod or something. <laughs> Damn. What yeah. is your What is your strategy? 
I just want to get into this fight stuff. Just Let's clear the fucking ice off for a hot yeah. sack. Shake, shake it up a little bit. As a as a ground guy, mm -hmm. you've historically been looked at as one of yeah. the better wrestlers, correct? In yes. the in the in the in the sport. What is your plan to try to match someone who has been training in the boxing world for the past three plus years, and and obviously has put together quite a quite a uh, capability when it comes comes to the at least the technical approach and aspects sure. of the yeah. sport. Yeah, so I always think with with something like this and like wrestling, MMA, whatever it is, right? There's the skill of whatever you're doing. There's also the skill of being a competitor. And, you know, he's only fought two times against guys who weren't really all that high level. And so his skill as a combat athlete probably is not that high yet. And it's going to take a while to get there. And you see this even with even with guys in the UFC, you know, they have 10, 15 fights and they still make stupid mistakes because they get in, in a pressure situation. There's adversity and they don't know how to handle it yet. And then you see them years later, right? <laughs> and they handle that adversity a lot differently. And they're more mature and they've been through it. And so, like, I've been through that for the last I mean, I've been competing at a high level in wrestling since I've, we'll say 17, 18 years old. I've been competing at, you know, a really high national level. So I've been through tons of adversity. And so it's like, you know, hey, I, I may not have the boxing skill, but that doesn't mean I can't get in there and fight somebody, right? I've been fighting people for it, it, 20 it, years. It doesn't mean that, but it might mean that you might not win. There's a chance. So here, here's, here's how I think about it. If he's actually a really good boxer, right? Like I went and I was sparring with <laughs> someone good and... um what was that damn, he's a, he challenged for world title at Freddy's. Okay. It's like, I have no illusion that I'm as good as you at boxing. I am not going to beat you in a boxing match. If Jake's really, really good, I'm probably not going to beat him, right? But I think he's probably not really that good. That's what I think, <laughs> for real. <laughs> <laughs> right, the nicest way to go to it was it was you it's interesting like when he wanted to he just nice he was almost like you took no, all the no, wind no, out of my no, sick because I smirked you're about no, to no, I was laughing because I was like Ben sell the fight bro he's like <laughs> 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 I'm probably gonna lose he's got me at least but he threw say no I don't think he's that. listen there's a chance there's a chance he's really good if he's really really good he's gonna beat me I don't think he's really good. That's what it comes down Why to. Why not? I got it, I got it. Cause he Talk beat- Talk a little bit more, man. He beat up- <laughs> You're trying to like fuck yourself up. You know what? I'm not taking, I'm taking your water back. I'm not getting the water. Be he, thirsty. Beat up, he beat up a YouTuber and a basketball player who likely has never been in any type of fight in his whole life. So what about that makes him good? R really though. That's a little better. It's right. My answer would be, did nothing he did in his last fight impress you? Um, it, so it's like, it's like this, like you wrestled, right? And you were actually relatively good. If I threw you in there against Jordan Burroughs, right? And even I'm really hell of a wrestler. I didn't have a chance against him. What would I learn about Jordan Burroughs? And the answer is I wouldn't learn much because the level discrepancy of the levels is so far apart and you're not good compared to him. So I'm not learning much about him. Right. And so if he had fought someone good, we're going to learn something about him. He fought, I don't even know what the first dude's name was. He was a bum. And the basketball player, while he was a good athlete, looked like he literally, the first time he got punched, there was just like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> that's what you it feels know? like. like oh. that's what it feels and like. it was like, to me, it was like, oh man, that guy really never got punched before. Like yeah. he'd never been hit. And so, you know, when someone's in there against people of that level, I think it's hard to judge. Did he throw a good one too? Yeah, sure, right? But I mean, if no one's ever fought, lots of people can throw good one twos against them. I just think- so Jake and I both are approaching that three-year mark. Mm -hmm. With any sport, not any, not even just sports, anything you do for three years, if you don't get somewhat good at it by that time, like stop. He's hit that tipping point. And I can yeah. confidently say this. He's hit that tipping point where he's he's not just a YouTube boxer anymore. And he's yeah. obviously on that mission to prove that. Sure. But my again, my uh, continuous rebuttal would be, he is at that point where he's a legit boxer now, and he, I'm yeah. sure you've seen on Instagram. So, but when you say legit, is that like, um, you know, he would challenge for world title? Is that he's going to no, be in the top no, 10? Is that, no. like, where does legit go? You know, like, I, what le level is Legit in the sense of, um, and we have we experience this every day. People come over and they they think they're sparring a YouTuber, then they they leave nose bloodied and having been knocked down three times mm -hmm. in, in, in a casual sparring session. I, when I say legit boxer, I mean, I, he's... Um, far beyond what his skill yeah. would be perceived. So as. it's, yeah, I mean, obviously I don't know the boxing world as well, so it's kind of hard for me to judge levels. Like in MMA, what I say is this like, is this guy who's challenged for a UFC title? Is he like uh, a UFC local fighter? Is he a regional fighter? Yeah. Like, so I guess that's kind of like, it's, it's hard for us to tell because he hasn't fought anybody. And so, hey, if he's really, <laughs> really good, if he's genuinely good at boxing, he might beat me. 
right? If he's not good, if he's not that great, if he's not a high level guy, he's not going to beat me. He can definitely, we know he can strike. The story you're telling right now is, is one that I've been <clears throat> kind of uh, in line with, which is, which is, we think he's a very good fighter, but the fact of the matter is yeah. we just haven't had the ability to see it proven yet. And yeah. that's just that's just the fact of the matter. We've seen yeah. him fight three non-fighters, right? Not not three? fighters on his. Fight two? Now he's had three yeah. fights. Two two professional yeah, and, and one amateur, okay. right? Got it. Um, the good thing about this fight, in my eyes, and I've been saying this the whole time, is I personally believe that if he is able to step into the ring and beat an actual fighter yeah. someone who has seen been bloodied up yeah. has been dropped on their fucking head and gotten back yeah. up we were at that fight well, that, i want to talk um, about that we'll talk about that <laughs> after if he can win this fight a lot of people are gonna have to stop doubting him a lot of people are gonna yeah. have to say yo he just beat someone who fights for a living now you're not a boxer but you mm -hmm. definitely learned enough about how to strike yeah. through your through your training for the M for mma yeah. i believe beating you would give jake paul yeah. enough credibility to continue telling that story. Sure. And so, I mean, we, we both wrestled, right? And so you could probably relate this more. I mean, have you ever been at that tournament, right? And you see the kid kind of warming up. You're like, damn, he's kind of slick, you know? And you watch him drill and you're like, wow, he's good. Yes. And then you see him out there and then all he's in the match and it's not going his way. And he just does it. And he's not the same guy anymore, right? Yeah. He's a different guy. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what I'm expecting, to be honest. So we listen, I mean, not we're gonna translate this. Like this. Yo, <laughs> pussy ass brother ain't gonna do shit, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Get him. Gotta sell tickets, no, bro. No, I, I, I actually, I hear that. Um, yeah. Paint a picture for me. Go for it. You win. Uh -huh. What? What happens to both you and Jake? Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do. So I retired from fighting. I said, um, if there was interesting things that come up in my future, I would take them. This seems like an interesting thing. Seems like fun. I got done with my hip surgery. I needed a reason to get back in shape. Mm. I, I was thinking I was gonna probably do a wrestling match of some sort just to kind of have a reason to train. Uh, this came up, I took it. Who knows, maybe I fight you, right? Maybe other YouTuber, or maybe I just go do a couple wrestling matches. I don't know. You lose. What happens for both you and Jake? Uh, if I lose, I mean, I probably just go back to coaching my wrestling academies. You wouldn't be concerned that the kids would make fun of you for losing. They probably the will. <laughs> so listen, here's here. So if we, you know, a continuum of ages, the five-year-olds, they don't know. They just run around, act all crazy all the time. Right. By the time they're like seven through nine, they're kind of a little scared of you and they act real, real good. 10, 11, same thing. By the time they get to middle school, they're just little little assholes no matter what. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I love you, but you are, right? <laughs> I, hear, I, watching, hear, like, I hear, <laughs> I hear, they are watching, right? And I hear, but I hear the George Masvidal comment, I don't know, five times a week. And his it's, name's it's, it's Jorge. Been, whatever. Masvidal, yeah, you better whatever. put some respect on his name. <laughs> and uh, no, right, I hear Jorge. that comment. Jorge, <laughs> stop the shit. But wait, really I quick. hear that comment five times a week and it's like, okay, haha, -ha, good, you know. So yes, if I do get beat up, I'm sure the middle school kids will make fun of me. By the time they get to high school, they're like, you're my coach, let's get to work. You know, it's like, uh, But also yeah. by the time yeah. they get to high school, so you, so you gotta wait a decade for them to stop making fun of you. No, it's just that 12 through, like that 12 through 14 age group, they're really tough and they're gonna give me crap and it's fine. I love them, they'll grow out of it. No but by deal. the time but by the time they get to high school too <laughs> and they're 18, then all of a sudden they can't talk shit to you anymore because you can fuck them up at that point. No, <laughs> What'd you say, bitch? You don't, don't forget. Uh, you don't wrestle your day. you don't wrestle your students. Uh, I do. I just said I don't. I don't whoop them. Right. You don't. You don't. No, I mean like I'm not gonna like. I don't think there's ever been a high school where I've like put it on him. You know, like like tried. I don't have their high school kids. I don't have to try. I, mean, I had a. Uh, so I, I I we should say I'm not nearly as good. Yeah, at wrestling as you are, like obviously, uh, you've even tweeted about it, like yo, I'll fucking pin you, and, and like I'm purposely. We were supposed like, to do a match. No, no, we fucking weren't. Why not? No, we no, weren't. Why not? No, no. Because it sounded like you're a great kick idea. My ass in wrestling. You'd, <laughs> well, you, he said influencer, Ben, not fucking <laughs> one of the best wrestlers. <laughs> of fucking no, bro, you're a fucking Olympian. Like chill, chill, chill. But I would wrestle some of my coaches. Yeah. Um, and Who's they, your coaches? Do I know? So him? the one you might know is Jake Percival. Oh, he's he was good. He was very he good. He was really good. Yeah. He was very good. I remember uh he would he'd take it fairly easy on me, but he was the only guy on my team who I could wrestle that would make me better because I, I got to that level where yeah. um I was just better than everyone on my team, mm -hmm. like a couple surrounding districts. Yeah. And I remember um I took him I think I took him down once. Yeah. In my entire high school career. Yeah. And it was like 
the moment where I was like, oh, I'm actually like pretty good at this sport. <laughs> but again, I don't think he was trying. So yeah. you never go in there and just kick your kid's ass. Um, No, I mean, well, I, I kicked their ass, but I, am I really trying? So, right, so there's a continuum. There's zero, to, am I trying 0% or am I trying 100%? Uh, and I don't think I've ever went 100%. I not mean, even on the best like, kid? No. Uh, no. I mean, maybe when the kid, I mean, like, you're right. So if I'm, if I'm really wrestling <laughs> and I haven't, I don't really get to wrestle very often because I don't, you know, they're high school. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> How was it? How was it? No, 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 no. How did it feel? I'm gonna rough him up a little bit. He went here, and I go, uh, I'm his bitch. Now. <laughs> There's <laughs> literally nothing. I, I seen him do. crush watermelons. I yo, seen him crush watermelons this, with the script. When he did this, we had a talk. I go, yo, like I don't know this Ben guy. Like, what if he lunges from a boy? As soon as he did this, I was like, no, no, he's on his own. Like, I had to fuck that. I would not. I would not intervene at all. Yeah, but and the other, well, the other thing is the job of a coach is not to beat up your athlete. The job of a coach is to help them to make them better. Yeah, so sometimes like sometimes you got to pick up the pace to, you know, make them feel what it's like to get beat up a little bit. Yeah, of course, right. But lots of times it's like I'm just trying to get them in the positions they need to figure out, right? Okay. okay. And so I'm getting them in those positions over and over and over again, and I'm making them work hard there. But I'm not like trying to put it on them. I got you, got you. Yeah. I, I, I want, I'm, I'm jumping around a lot. I was just gonna say, on the contrary of you kicking asses, can we just talk about the Masvidal knee for a second? Hold we on a second. You want? Hold on a second. Okay, well, we were just there. We mentioned yeah, George. Second, the teenagers you, bring it up all the time. I'm the, I'm the host. Well, I'm of the show. it up in the nicest well, way. Uh, no, I'm the host. I didn't say go. <laughs> say whatever you want. You want to talk about Twitter? No, I just want. I just want to maybe talk about this fight a little. A mm -hmm. little. Nah, but we can. I mean, we, look. Okay. I don't know how much you know about me, Ben. Uh, not not that much. Okay, so uh, I started off making videos on Vine. I heard yes, I've heard that. So my career started in six seconds, and your career ended in six <laughs> seconds. It's <laughs> a good joke. What was the last thing you <laughs> remember? It was five though. Before <laughs> Jorge Masvidal <laughs> needs you in your ear hole. Um, you know what? I don't. I don't remember any of it really. I remember you looking, making eye contact with him before the fight started, Fuck. and then that that's really it. That and then sucks, man. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Not ideal. And then um. <laughs> Right, I um, so I, I was obviously awake, but I kind of the first thing I remember then I was in the hospital, um, and I woke up. I'm like, oh, okay, and then I, and my wife's there, and she's like, hey, what's up? And then I remember like, <laughs> I, I remember like, Yo, I didn't, up, I didn't feel, I didn't feel sore, and I'm like. Oh, I'm in the no. hospital. I don't feel sore. I'm like, this didn't go very well, did it? And oh. she goes, nah. And I'm like, it was pretty fast, huh? She goes, yup. I'm like, oh, shit. When you found out how fast it was. Uh, I don't even remember that. Um, I, I don't know if she told me that right away, but then, you know, what's funny is when I, when I like started clicking, it was like, everything was, I never had a headache. I never felt bad. I went back to my hotel room. I went to my after party. All my buddies were there. Um, I, I never once felt anything from it. Um, so well, he got you like in the neck, right? Yeah, I mean, so that, that that's what it, it looked. That's what it appears. I don't. I don't remember. I yeah, just told you guys right, that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I just, yeah. I'm sure you've seen the video. Yeah, a that's, bunch that's, of that's times. what it appears. Yeah, right, 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 right there. But I couldn't tell you like from firsthand. <laughs> does <laughs> yeah. does it make you feel a little bit? You don't seem to be too upset about the situation. He's but so just, transparent. Yeah, about it's, which is great. It's it's very hard to fuck with you because you're very <laughs> open. About right, everything. Right. But like, does it make you feel better at all? having it been Masvidal, who is considered to be one of the most ferocious <laughs> fucking animals of a human in the world. You know what? Like, uh, no, I, I, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't dislike him that much, but I don't also don't like, like him that much. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like in the middle on him. Um, but you respect him mm, as a, as a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, as a fighter, yes. Um, but you know, I guess like I like Robbie Lawler. I like I like sure. a lot more. You know, I, I like him a lot. Um, I do, I wish it was nobody. Obviously, right? I wish it was. And, and if the, if I win that fight, then I'm fighting the world for the world title next. And so, yeah, I mean, listen, things like that happen in your career. And I went ten years without getting rocked or getting hurt or really everything went my way for a decade. Um, so, I mean, sometimes shit doesn't go your way, and that's it. I think people forget about the context around that fight. Like that's yeah. why it was exciting to me. I, I think. And I've just spoken about it on this podcast before. Um, you may know, like I, I was very excited for your entrance into the yeah. UFC. Like you're definitely a showman. You, mm -hmm. You're, you're likable. Um, you did the boom roasted thing. I thought it was yes. funny. Like you're the new guy, the re wrestler, right? Uh -huh. Um, and I think people forgot the context around that Jorge Masvidal fight. Like you were talking a lot of shit. Well, so the main reason I was talking so much shit 
was, well, number one, the sell the fight, obviously, right? But number two was uh, I had to encourage him to want to take that fight. So if you remember, I had booked my plane ticket to London. Him and Darren Till were fighting. So I beat Robbie. Two weeks later, him and Darren Till were fighting. And I said, I want the winner of that fight uh. because they were ranked, I think, three and eight, but obviously, or two and eight maybe. And I knew they were going to be, whoever wins is going to be really high. And I was like five or something. And so I knew, hey, I beat the winner of this. I get a title fight. And Till talks a lot of trash too. And people like Masvidal. So I knew it would be highly marketable. But right after that fight, George didn't want to take it. And, you know, I think he knew, like, I don't do well against wrestlers as we saw in the Usman fight. And so, it, you know, he was hesitant. And just like, George is not taking the Colby fight right now. Like, that's the fight to make. Uh. And it's not happening because I don't think George really wants it. And so I had to call him some names. And I made him mad enough. And then he said, yeah. I think that's what made it. Yes, as bad cut. as it was, though. Yeah. Like, I remember watching it, and I was like, yo, they've been talking crazy shit about <laughs> each other. Like, tensions are high. And then I blinked, and it was over. Mm -hmm. Ferociously. <laughs> we, we, tough, on, tough. on the flip side of it, we have we were at a fight in Vegas yeah. for Usman versus... Uh, Tyron. Tyron Woodley, which did not did not go well for Woodley because yeah. he was on the show earlier that week and had told us to bet the fucking house. Tyron Ty was on this show that yep. week? Which which Logan did bet the house and it didn't go well. And we st it's still here though. It's, well, well we had a, <laughs> we lost some of the house. <laughs> but uh we lost but, the east wing of the house. And man. we were we were really excited about that, uh -huh. about that Woodley Usman fight. But yeah. a fight before that, and I, I'm not a huge fight guy. I'm not yeah. even a slightly huge fight guy, but okay. a fight that happened before that was this guy, Ben Askren. Yeah. Who got at one point, <laughs> smashed through the earth in, yeah. into the, like, I thought you were going to come out in China. Literally. Like <laughs> I, I was, I, and I said, okay, fight's over. I even yes. sat down and went on my phone. Even and a couple I big punches and, were and, eaten uh, by, 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 yeah. by Ben. Yeah. And I looked up and it, not too long after that, he was choking the guy. He just grabbed his Ow. head. Oh, you don't fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? But so, and so, and so when, when people, when this fight, the Jake fight, and when all the talk started around that and everybody brought up the flying knee, I said, but it's not as simple as that. Yeah, you ain't you ain't a a, a glass jaw yeah. by any means, right? Yeah. So like, you know, do you? I guess what I'm trying to parlay into here is, what do you think the chances are that you get knocked out oh, by Logan Paul's brother? Highly unlikely. I mean, I've, I've never besides the George knee, I've never been rocked in a fight or in practice. Really, never. Yeah, even even when never. he dropped you on your head. No, I mean, so the, the part about getting dropped in my head, so I shot a double, I short dragged out of it, and I kind of had his neck, right? What they call, it's a seatbelt in jujitsu. It's not a seatbelt seat in wrestling, something different. Um, and I was in a great spot, and I, under no circumstances, expected him to be able to lift me up, right? <sighs> I just didn't think that was a possibility from there. And he picked me up, and then I was like, oh, shit, shit. right? And then I'm like, uh, oh, F it, I'm going to hold on to this shit. And I thought I would hold, be able to hold on to it. And he put me down and my arm, if you watch my arm gets trapped under my body, right? So he's over here, my arm's trapped under my body. And so I have this whole side open, which is where he was hitting me from. Um, but no, the whole time I was, you know, cognizant of what was going on, it, but it was like really hard to get my arm free, right? So I had to get back to my back and then I finally was able to free my arm and then I could kind of come up and into him. Um, so no, the whole time I was cognizant, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't fun getting punched in the face, but it was like, okay, got to get to your back, got to get to your back. And then, you know, clear your arm and then dig the underhook and then come back up and into him. Cause that was your first UFC fight, right? Yes. I remember. Uh -huh. And then, yeah. and then you pulled the win out. Yes. It was, uh -huh. it was incredible. Wild. It was, yeah, it, was, uh -huh. it was, it was a fun fight to watch. Yeah. Dana White. <laughs> yeah. D Dana I, fucking White. Your brother made Dana White like me. It's tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I could say the same, man. <laughs> So, he, yeah. he just bet money on it. Do you know, yeah, do you know was, this? Yeah. Do you know yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It just happened. It just, this yeah. is breaking news. Well, he might have told me a little bit ago. Oh, what? Yeah. Dana White willing to bet a million dollars on Ben Askren beating Jake Paul. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Dana, Dana and I obviously- Look at his face obviously. real quickly. Look at his face right there. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. I'm a fucking boxer. Oh, this guy's a fucking but YouTube even, kid. Gonna bring I went up there and I watched watch him. Watch. He be working yeah. hard though, Dana. Sad, Dana. Dana, he's a great fighter. He be working hard. I watched him. I watched him. I seen him. I seen him put it together. Zab, no bullshit. I'm just saying. I no seen him. No, 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 no. I no bullshit. Eyes. You're hanging out with the kid. You know him. You're saying he can fight. Yes. So the kid that he's going to fight is a wrestler, decorated wrestler, but He's he's actually fought real guys. He, he he's been a world champion in, uh, in other organizations. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. gonna be an interesting test. Yeah, but it's <laughs> different though, Dana. When you're standing up and you you know from wrestling and standing up and letting him hand fly. One thing I can't say about him, he got hands. 
Yeah. He got hands. What does Zab Judah know? Zab Judah doesn't know anything about wrestling. A million dollars. <laughs> oh, here we then go. Then he loses this fucking fight. They know why. <laughs> Mike Tyson is you know, loving he, it. <laughs> you know he took two handful of mushrooms. mushrooms. <laughs> He doesn't even know what they're rooting for. He's he said, like, yeah. he said it, we heard in the beginning, he said, Jake Paul's going to bring 75 million people to the, to the fight of sport of boxing. That's a lot of people. <sighs> so, uh, that might be an all-time record. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> a God, lot of fucking be. people. Jake's going to make a billion dollars on the fight, dude. Any, yeah. Any pressure? No. You, Dana White's going to lose a million dollars because of you. Potentially. Dana White's got plenty of millions of dollars. That's true. Yeah. He's got so many millions. You know what's fucked up about that interview? I was supposed to be where Zab was. Shahidi asked me to say, I'm so happy. I was that, that's Zab Judah that is so much Vegas? of a better co-host for that. It was in Vegas. Yeah, they just Vegas. did it. Yeah. Oh, why uh, Why does Dana White not like you? Oh. Or did he not? Um, you know what? I still have never had this conversation with him. So I was a free agent in Bellator in July of uh, 2013. I finished my contract. I was 9-0 there. I was uh, 29 years old. And I just, I had beat, I defended my title. I'd outstruck under Kreshkov 248 to one in the final fight. And for me, it was like, at this point in my life, it wasn't about making money and staying in Bellator. It was like, I want to challenge myself against the best guys in the world. And that was really all I wanted to do. And it just didn't work out between me and him. And I never got um, a real good final reasoning. And I had met the CEO of one championship. And so I, I decided to go over there because, you know, I'd burned my bridges with Bellator. I wasn't going back there. The UFC thing didn't work out. So I went to one championship and then I was the champion there for, you know, roughly four years. And um, I still had like one or two fights on my contract and I retired there because it was just like, I guess the one thing I read a lot about not only boxers, but all sports people is they, they can't retire on time and they spend all their money, right? Pretty much across the board. So it's like, if I'm an athlete, when I grow up, don't spend too much money. Mm. Don't retire too late. So I retired in uh, November of 2017. And I said, with a caveat, if I get to fight the best guys in the world, I will come back. And I didn't know how that was going to happen. Um, and then sure enough, like what, 10 months later, they called me and they said, hey, we're going to we're gonna trade you to the UFC. And it was like, a trade? What do you yeah, mean? How does a trade work? This never who happened. Did they, who did <laughs> this they, never happened. Who did they get? <laughs> they got, so they got Demetrius Johnson, who's like the, the goat welter. Oh, oh he's are, great. Yeah, yeah. So he did oh, not man. want to fight in the UFC anymore. And so it was like both of these uh, people had, you know, pieces they wanted to exchange for something else. And it, yeah, so he's over there. He's the champion. He's actually fighting, I want to say in like two weeks on TNT, something like that. Is the, is the, is the competition level the same, Bellator versus UFC? Or is UFC um, clearly a so bit it's, more- So it's uh, not quite that easy. Um, okay. So there, there's great fighters everywhere. And you know, the, the, the simple answer would be there's probably, it's deeper in the UFC, right? There's more really high level people. But if you look at like, say the WEC who the UFC bought or Strikeforce who the UFC bought, a lot of people shit on those organizations while they weren't UFC. But then, you know, from Strikeforce, Rousey became a champ, Cormier yep. became yep. a champ, Woodley, et cetera, Rockhold, right? All these guys, um, you know, and then like Eddie Alvarez came from Bellator and he was a champion. So it's like, there are great guys everywhere. Okay. There's probably more of them per weight class in the UFC, but that doesn't mean they're not anywhere because some guys will say, I would rather take, you know, more money if someone else is offering it than fight in the UFC. I feel like, uh, I feel like there's definitely some good guys who, uh, come from Bellator. We saw with Michael Chandler yep, recently. Chandler. Uh, -huh. uh, yeah, he, he beat Dan Hooker. Yeah, pretty pretty badly. But then you know, I look at guys like Dylan Dennis, and I'm like, yo. Well, Dylan Dennis, but he's not even a good Bellator fighter. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's like two and what's, zero, and what's he's that guy's deal. I, listen, I don't know what his deal is. He doesn't. I think he just wants to be a social media guy. He doesn't actually want to fight because <laughs> he has fought two times <laughs> that's in what, MMA. That's, that's what we've been saying. I'm 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 so I ask point. it curiously because I just don't know. Because I, I I always ask that. I'm Let like, is he just, is he an influencer? Is that what his? No, we don't know. So no well, one has a fucking answer. Okay, so Dylan Dennis was a good jujitsu okay. guy. Very good. Very high level. Um, let me look. But he hasn't had a fight in in a minute. Like, I, I can't tell you the last time he fought. And so it's like, well, you're going to go do this fighting thing. But then he, so he's fought, both guys he fought. Someone's under, got under it. Someone should tell me he actually has to fight. To, if he yes, to let's see. It. So the last time he fought, I'm looking this up because I don't, I don't know offhand. It's been a while. It's been like two years though. But yeah, so he doesn't actually fight. He's a fighter, but he doesn't fight. The last time he fought was June of 2019. 
He's just that's approaching like, two years. Yeah, it's almost two years. He's so, been hanging out. And, and, and by the way, I'm sure you know this, Jake offered him a contract to, yeah. to fight on this, to be in your position. Yes. So I think, and I think there was kind of a hold up there. And I think they wanted Dylan more than me. Cause I think, I think your brother thinks Dylan leads to Connor. What it may, may not, I'm not sure. Cause right. They're buddies. Um, and so I think Dylan probably was the one they really wanted. And Dylan's kind of a pussy too. Um, so that probably helps. <laughs> it was, it, he was, I'm telling you, he yes. was, I'm telling you, yeah. he was, you were, you were, I think next up, Yeah, uh, so, obviously, and, obviously, but yeah. there's just beef there, you know, for I think years now, and we just want to shut this guy up. Um, and yeah. it'll, it'll happen eventually if he ever, you know, actually fights as a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but he's under enemy contract and he hasn't fought in almost two years. So I don't know what he's doing. No idea. Uh, what, and he's very low level too. Like he has fought two really bad guys. It's not like in Bellator, he's fighting the best guys in Bellator. He's yeah. not even close to that level I, yet. I think it's all about a matchup and then uh, the circumstance. So like uh, you you wanted to wrestle with me, like uh, maybe for fun I would do it, but not in like a serious- Let's go all back. I was going to ask you <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to spar after this. <gasps> spar? Boxing? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring any shit, but uh, we could go wrestle. A couple takedowns. <laughs> oh, <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't want to do that, but I'll box you. It's all circumstance. Like, <laughs> uh, yo, I feel like both of you guys are dodging. You're like, nah, nah I don't want to do it about wrestling. He's like, nah, I don't want to get my ass kicked. But I'll box you. <laughs> nah, but I didn't bring my stuff. Uh, is, there like an, is there like an in-between like just kicking or something? You'd lose that too, right? Obviously. MMA? MMA. There How is go. that an in-between? That's an all this. <laughs> 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 you can punch me. He's like, this anything goes. Go. Um, but like, same with Dylan. Like I wouldn't do like a jujitsu match with Dylan. He's good at jujitsu. He's very good he at jujitsu. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm fairly no. I, both Jake and I would beat the shit out of him in boxing. I think that's where Jake's confidence yeah. is coming from as, as well, well with 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 yeah. your fight. Um, I mean the thing with Dylan, yeah, Dylan is just like you've done good at jujitsu. That's fine, right? But if you're gonna be a fighter, you actually have to fight people and. Both the guys he's fought were under 500, and I'm pretty sure they were kind of hand-picked opponents mm. because, you know, he does have a big name from jiu-jitsu and his social media presence because of McGregor. But it's like, I mean, he probably has another eight to 10 fights before he would ever fight for like a Bellator title, right? Ah. He is like a very, very long Junior. way away. Yes. Isn't he too old then? I mean, wow. you can, in MMA, sometimes if you're, you know, you're cracking, you can get three or four fights in a year. So, I mean- not him. He can't do one in two years. <laughs> Wait, how old, is, how old is Dylan? He can't be very old. I don't he's, think. He's young. He's 24, 24 25. 25. Yeah, yeah, but 24 and... No, you got time. No, there's time. Are that's sure? not that yet. Yeah. 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 Are you sure like, he hasn't done yeah. it? You sure? No, in MMA, <laughs> no one does it when they're a kid, right? No kids fight, so... Like people don't usually. When you talk have, to me face this way because I feel like you're gonna lunge. Well, I feel like, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. People <laughs> in, in MMA, people don't do it when they're young, right? No one fights as a kid, really. They may be wrestler, jujitsu, or, or something else. And so you're taking your first pro fights at age 18. So you're not like, yeah. you know, challenging for a title. Yeah. Or, or if you want a title at 23, 25, that would be like really, really early. How much you weigh, Ben? Right now, probably 200. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're, yeah, you're thick, bro. Wait, yeah. I was just looking at you too. I'm like, I'm like, you're so much bigger than George. Stop. Wait, <laughs> 200. What's what's Jake weight right now? I think we're fighting at 190. Yeah, I was gonna say like 190. Well, Jake's pretty Jake, fucking Jake's, thick. Nah, with he's, two he's two, right two, probably probably two or five, two ten. He's yeah. got to shred a little bit to yeah, get down oh, the yeah, weight. Oh yeah, yeah, he got thick. He got thick. I don't know what happened. As a karma, because he called your wife thick. No, 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 no. Thick in a goat. Two, like, two like, C's. That's like, how we called her. Jake, Jake was the last one to go through puberty. Then all of a sudden, everyone like missed him for a year. Now they're like, what the fuck happened? In incremental horizontal growth. Yes. He's just, yeah. he's just getting wider. As, <laughs> as, it, as I, in a good way, please, Pam and they're, Greg. They're muscles. Pam, it's, just so you know, Pam and Greg both texted me before this show. Both of uh -oh. them texted what me. This, they what said, is hey, you fucking watch it out there today. Right? We're not here for your bullshit. I said, listen, that's all stopped a long time ago. <laughs> As a ground guy, yes. very respected ground guy, what has the training been like? Trying to trying to bring those skills way upstairs. Yeah. You're now working with a very famous coach in Freddie Roach. Mm -hmm. What does it look like to have to train? Because not being an asshole here, but I've seen some of the sparring footage, yeah. and I've and I've even said like I. I don't know if he's if he's learning technique by punching that slow, but somebody made the joke that you look like how people punch in their dreams. 
Like where you like he'll punch in a dream. <laughs> yeah, you try to, but you can't move fast. I never had that dream. And this is listen. This is not me saying it. I'm just That's saying fine. like what is? I, I'm just curious. I've never had that dream. But, but, I, don't, I can't relate to you right now. You, I don't know you what you're talking about. You try to punch a giant monster, it and you're sucks. like, oh, it's a, you can't do anything. You guys all have these dreams. Yeah, yes. it's a pretty Most well known. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty well. You it's can't punch. I'm pretty fucking Superman in my dream. I beat somebody's ass in my dream. Reality check comes in. Wow. But but anyways, back to the question. Sure. What when you're when you're training like. I've seen the stuff and when you, I think the way people are looking at it from the outside, when you watch Jake's yeah. sparring sessions or when you watch Jake's training, he's, he's got the same, he's got that snappiness. Sure. He's got that technical snappiness. That jab is quick and it's yeah. back in to protect them. He's got the same, the kind of skills that you would, uh, 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 acquire in a three year quest for boxing training. Sure. When I, when I watch your, um, striking and your initial start at boxing, it looks like you're much earlier in the journey. Why does that appear appear like that? Well, I, I, th I look pretty funny to everything I do. Okay. I think. Yes. Okay, okay. So even, uh, I would go back to my college career. I had a coach, I coached with, uh, Brian Snyder, at Arizona state, and he was a little older than me. And then he kind of got out of the game. He got his PhD. So he got out of the game and then we coached together. And uh, you know, he said, hey, Ben, I never really seen you wrestle too much. You got, you got some film? I said, sure. And I gave him a highlight tape. And the next day he came to me and he said, everything you do is wrong. How did you win so many matches? And it's like, I mean, that's just kind of, I've got used to that, right? Everyone thinks what I do looks strange and funny. And then all of a sudden I'm in front of them and they're like, oh, this guy won't fucking go away. Right, right, like right. this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. And so I, I think there's a lot of that. Uh, I was the slowest guy on my college wrestling team. I'm very, very slow twitch. So you're not offending me by saying I'm slow. I already know that. Yeah, I've known that for a very long time. I was just curious. And, yeah. and honestly, what it what it what it's not slow. It just seems like you're no, being more methodical with your form and trying yeah. to, to pick it up as someone that's that's new to the sport mm -hmm. of actually boxing would do. Yeah. The thing I'm most interested to see with, with the Jake fight is we a lot of people talk about how you're going to react to a boxer and 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 being and fighting someone who's not going to go to the ground who's just going to simply try to yeah. strike you i'm interested to see how jake reacts to someone who might not go down from a a, a good right yeah. or who might or who might not wait for jake to throw a punch and may show up and be like yo i'm going to press yeah, you yeah who wants bit. to fight yeah yeah and so i'm very interested to see how it, how it goes in both ways sure i agree with you yeah, I had some uh, questions from Twitter. Uh -oh. I, oh, I love shit, Twitter. Dude, love Twitter. I'm, Greatest source of information on planet Earth. <laughs> some say. If you know where some, to look. Some say. They, they're, actually, uh, they're actually taking me easy. Okay. I, I thought I thought they- I, I can think all that Twitter has to handle. No, yeah. No, they're actually asking quite good questions. Um, I, I, And we can just pick and choose. I haven't pre-chosen any. This one's good, I think. Are you nervous facing someone who's not a traditional fighter? What What is that? I don't know. I mean, I don't know why I'd be nervous about that. Um. I think that that should make me less nervous. No, I mean, because if you lose, I mean, dog, I'll just say it's I over. Don't, I it's don't over give a for shit. you, man. What do you mean? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna run my wrestling academies. My life is not really gonna change. A few 13 year olds are gonna tease me a little bit. Like that how sucks, man. This dude's it's bulletproof. No, forever. What do you do? Forever. Oh my god, Logan. I don't know your life that well. I'm sure there's something you've done that you. <laughs> Damn, I you wish I wouldn't have done that. You know damn well, Askren. Not, not one you thing. You son of a bitch. <laughs> not. Okay, you did something in Japan. Maybe you, 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 got, you got a hand job at a massage. Wait, you and everyone stop. knows no, this. No, stop, Ben. What? You actually don't know? Um, How can you not know, man? <laughs> everyone knows. I'm just like, because I'm in my world. I talk about no, wrestling. No, this, this was the world. You got, you got a hand job for real? Yes. Oh man! In a bad hand job in a yeah. long run. I think I think my camera guy no, might have too when we were in Singapore. Do you know Singapore. his boxing record? I'm not record? sure though. I've not made one. On I've not <laughs> made one mistake <laughs> ever. Uh, it's like Logan. Look at look at me. This might help a lot. I know you got a teenage fan base. Um, That's this, not even true anymore. This might help them. Uh, I listen, wish I had it. I'm trying to get Gen I'm, Z. I'm, I don't do here, I'm going to give them some advice. Listen, there's going to be some stuff in life that you regret. There's going to be some stuff that's embarrassing. Listen, you just get over it and you live your life. I'm going to run my wrestling academies the same day. I, I tell kids, you know, when, they, when they're nervous about a big match, I tell them, listen, man, I had the most embarrassing knockout that's ever happened in MMA history. I'm the same guy July 7th as I was July 5th. What do you just shake it off and you keep moving? Unreal. I mean, I mean listen, he's absolutely right. So he's so absolutely happy. right. He's so I mean, happy all the time. Are you ever sad? 
You ever get depressed about anything? Uh, maybe when the Bitcoin price drops to like 20% a day. Uh, let's talk no, cost. Let's talk cost. Then, us too, dude. Us too. It'll be, back, it'll be back in seven days. Just wait. That's I was just going to say, that makes me happy. Yeah. It makes me happy when that happens because I get to add to my position. There you go. And honestly, if you, if you ain't buying those fucking dips, bro, you yeah. better start. We have a group chat called the Dip Buyers. Dip Buyers. Oh, Ooh, nice. It's great. great. Group chats. You guys buy the dip. How BTFD, many group chats? It's the, the same, dip. It's the same group chat. We just name it something different every week. Ben, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I really want you to lose the fight, That's but okay. you're a nice guy. It'll be all right. And now I'm fucking confused. Will, I feel like my parents got cry? divorced and I don't know. <laughs> will you I cry? Shed a tear? I did. I, you know, I was kind of emotionally touched. People are making fun of your brother. You know, listen, I've cried when my brother won, when he won the national title. I shed a couple of tears. It was very emotional for me to see him break through and win the national title. Jake cried when you lost. And, you know, I thought, listen, I thought that was kind of cool. People were making fun of him. I thought, hey. Dude loves his brother. That's no, cool. I, saying nice I see, things no, about see, Jake. I thought that was this weird. Bro, I thought sucks. that was weird. This I mean, sucks. I mean, listen, I'm not that emotional. I wouldn't cry, you know, over a because listen, you're rich, you're famous, and you lose a fucking boxing match. So what? Who cares? Like, I think that's where my head was at. But also, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. It homeboy like was to, blasted. What? He was drunk. He was fucking. Oh, Jake drunk. was, he was trash. He was trash. I was with him. I'm like, he's like, my brother lost the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was like, oh, no, I also really want some ice cream. I'm like, Jake, what's good, dog? Oh, it's not that big of a deal, Jake. No, he, Shannon he was just, Briggs is flipping out in the back, and yeah. I'll kill everyone <laughs> in this bitch. I was like, what the? F and I'm in the middle, like, what the fuck Jeez, is going on? Uh, Everybody just keeps telling me, just trim your nails, just calm down. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, back no, to back. Can we go back to the Bitcoin for no, sure? No, I want to talk about this. Whatever this one says, how far can he can throw a baby? No, uh, no it doesn't How say far it. he can throw a baby? The, the farthest I've ever thrown a disc was 489 feet in distance competition. I can't Phoenix, believe you Arizona. know that. I can't believe you know that. I, took, I think I took uh, seventh place or something. That's not first. Well, unfortunately, can't win everything. Have a, <laughs> have a thumb wrestle. Have a thumb wrestle. Can't beat this guy. How do you how do you plan to answer that question? Oh, wait, wait, one, I'll say two, go. Three, I'll say four, go. Four. No, you gotta do one. You gotta uh, say I'm, go in a thumb war. I'm sorry. One, one two, two, three, four. four I, I declare, declare a thumb, thumb war. Oh, you're fucked, Logan. Look how small Logan's thumb Look is. Look how calm he is. That's pretty small though. He really is slow twitch, Why though. I can to, tell. I'm just waiting for you to fall off my trap. <laughs> You move your finger. Stop cheating. Groundhog. One, oh, two, no, I'm three. in the ground. I pinned you. Well, I'm in the ground. It's One, groundhog. two, three, pin. <laughs> Wait, what's well, That's an old school oh, trick. Everyone on the playground hand. knows it. No, raise my hand. Groundhog. <laughs> he said, raise my hand. Look at yours. He said, raise my hand. I saw his fist size. And Wait, I was like, hey, raise my hand. Uh, my thumb was way bigger than his, Yo, I think. Why are your hands? You have fucking bulky you're, hands. You're deceptively bro. small. Uh, you know one thing? This is. um. This is not getting conspiracy theories, but I think <laughs> I, cu I cut a lot of weight in seventh, eighth grade for wrestling. And I think I stunted my growth a little bit because I have bigger hands and feet than my brother. And yet I'm like, he was a 197 pounder. I was a 174 pounder. Can you all, can you all stand next to each other for a second? Just, just so I can get, I really am trying to understand this size. I think he's size. taller than me. I think he's, he's definitely taller than me. But it's not, wait, hold on. I just need What is that? What is that? Five, four, five inches? Is it yeah, what he, he, he's wide? Is this what the Mayweather fight's gonna look like? That's all no. Five eleven? Uh, no, he, yeah, he's way taller than Mayweather. He's he's Mayweather way, Mayweather's Mayweather's like five seven, five, eight. 145 pounds. Yeah. Holy hell. Mind blowing. Yo, dude. yo. Ah! <laughs> what do you what think, think about, about that? that? Yeah, what? that's a great oh! nice. Dude, what? you're great. Dude, yo, I swear you watermelons. He crushes his watermelons, bro. He goes like this and crushes them. Logan Paul I'm gonna be honest with you. For somebody who doesn't know that video, for you to just stare at me while holding me and be like I crush watermelons. It's a very, <laughs> very weird thing to say. <laughs> Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather. Is it I thought it was happening in February, but then it didn't happen. All right, What's listen, don't worry about well, the fucking timeline. I mean, it looks like it, just, it looks like May. Just probably, so Logan, that ain't gonna go very well for you. Ooh, he's the best in the world. That's what listen, saying. you know, I was I was <laughs> not the best in the world in wrestling, but I, I did take sixth place in the Olympics, which is relatively good. And then I retired and I tried wrestling Jordan Burroughs and it didn't go very well for me because he was actually match. the best in the world. I saw that match. And I was no longer the best you in the world. You guys were the same weight. Uh, he and, actually, you know, I was, same age. you know what I was pissed about? No, I'm older. Um, I was pissed that he made me cut weight because it's like, Jordan, you're going to beat me. I went, I went to Nebraska to train with him for four or five days mm. and then he made me cut weight just to beat me. Not cool. Ben, look, look I, I'm not. I'm not only not having to cut weight. I think I have to cut like to 190, which is the lowest I could go. But not, mm. you know, an extreme weight cut. Uh, you know, I mean, we've talked about this shit. Fuck, everyone's told me I'm gonna lose. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I goes, just, yeah. No, I just want to fucking be able to hold my hand so high, so high. 
coming out on top and uh, just prove everyone wrong, man. Like I've never had, I've never had a fire like this in my life ever lit under me because I've never been in a situation where like literally everyone doubts me besides my fucking man, Milton and my dad <laughs> and the Don and Jeff. I love y'all. And Kevin. Kevin, you really think so? You never told me. What the fuck? What about me? You suck my fucking dick. I think first round knockout. I think <laughs> Floyd, Floyd carried uh, Connor for nine rounds. Sure, he's going to carry Logan for yeah, a few. Yeah, he'll get carried a few rounds. Yeah. yeah. Hey, give me a person. He's going to himself. Yeah. Oh. But, but just know who's going to lie and said he always believed in you. You don't, this you don't even lie. You don't I even don't lie. But also, but also, no, <laughs> the last thing I need is... is to get to that deeper water. I need this thing to end quick. I need Logan to land a punch round one, one, two, three, and get the fuck out of it. Well, you're not telling him he's gonna win, is he? Are you? No. no you're kind no, of a bad no, friend. No, no, no dude, I'm not, okay. bro. For, listen, I'm not, I, here's the thing. We need friends that are honest Can with you, us. Would you, here, and I am that guy, trust okay. me. I'm not, I, I tell him all the fucking time. Let me ask you a question. Would you say, because this yes. is what I've always told yes. him, that he has a chance? Not even one don't percent. Tell him, don't tell him, don't tell him. punch this chance? Bro, you're listening to Man. fucking Ben Askren. He thinks he's going to win against Jake. Clearly, he's not who's, all who's, who had a puncher chance against Floyd? He's fought like how many times? Wait, okay. Name anybody. Listen, listen. I think there's only ben, one person ben, who knocked ben, him down. Ben, an era has ended, my friend. An era has ended. It's over. Before you meet Jake. So I'm Logan. saying we could spar right now. Yeah, you can yeah spar I now. mean, we could spar. You could, even if you, were able, if you were able to beat me up. I would still have no faith that you could beat up Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Floyd That's Mayweather. what I was just going to say. Here, Ben Askren, here. Yeah, this is not the same here. thing. Floyd Mayweather here. Two, two things are not the same. Ben, listen, we run, a, we run a traditional fighters camp out here. Our boy Logan Paul is God. He's going to win the fight and he's going to okay. crush you. You're a fucking yes but man. But listen, no, I'm kidding. I'm you disgusting. You disgust me. No, You're just gross. Kidding. You fucking I, let me do, Let's say he's got yes. a, he's got 1% chance. Come on, come on, Ben. I mean, if Floyd had been knocked out, maybe I would agree with you. But he, say, say I some, how many times has Floyd been knocked out? Ben, one time? Ben, Ben, you said one it time. yourself. What, one time? You said you hadn't got rocked in the Floyd? decade of combat sports. You, yeah. you, you. Yeah. Then something happens. He threw, yeah, night. but it's a knee, not a punch. Yo. And by well, another high level, really high level athlete. What are we talking about? Well, I'm just saying. You don't believe in miracles? Okay, okay what would you right. do if you, you did could, win? One percent. I'm on the- your show, so I'm not gonna be. You have a hail mary chance. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! And that's all we fucking need, baby. Give me it. Give me it. One percent. Bet the house. <laughs> we all walk Bet out of the, the house. <laughs> you guys were fairness- watching it pulsing. <laughs> In all fairness, the odds of a, a knockout first round are gonna be like. It's gotta be like. N- plus twenty thousand or more something at the house. Something mentioned. insane. Something totally insane. Yeah, probably more than plus twenty thousand. Huh? Ibrahim says, "Can he suck my toes? You into the, any of that?" that st- that's really weird. No, I'm not, I'm not in. <laughs> How long um, you answered it? We, we already talked about a lot of this stuff. Uh, Clean pride, please. Yeah, so you don't you don't know what's gonna happen next. Will says, "What's the next step if you do defeat Jake? You're just gonna d- we're gonna I'm gonna fight you." You really, you'd really want to do that? Well, I mean, once you get beat up by Floyd, you need a bounce back match, don't you? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you will not be my bounce back match. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need someone easier. Maybe, maybe George will fight easier. You. It doesn't get easier, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> somebody just, somebody just asked about XRP. I don't. XRP, do that. John. Let's, let's I don't like XRP. Let's talk I don't about, like let's XRP. Talk about well, XRP was was look, was a, a pump, yeah. Uh, well, it's it's a, it's centralized, and I I think the powerful thing about crypto um is the decentralization right like bitcoin no one controls the bitcoin protocol it's out there it runs and there's no politicians controlling it i mean we just printed 1.9 trillion dollars today the united (laughs) states government and other governments around the world doing the same thing bitcoin is not controlled by anybody it's it's a algorithm it's out there it runs and that's it what are your top three coins right now um not, no, you not, not freaking Dogecoin. Dogecoin. No. Thumbs down. Who said Thumbs it? Down Who for said Doge. it? Um, I go Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. I have some Cardano too. And then I have a whole bunch of, um, one of my buddies, the buddy who started, uh, he started Flow Sports, which started with Flow Wrestling and Flow Track. He started a very unique thing and it's got a crypto part of it. So it's a, it's a content creator site. And the idea is that content creators, they always get screwed by the networks, right? So the digital networks get so large that, even if you're a huge creator for YouTube, YouTube's going to tell you what you earn. 
And with his is every single day it pays out a token and then you can right, save it or you can cash out. And then as the value of the network goes up. Are you plugging your friend's thing? I am, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you should be on there. Is it called, YouTube's Flo? Screwing is it called you. Flowcoin or something? It is, like it is I... not. Flow, uh, he, he was a CEO of Flow for a decade. Okay, and then got he it. Separate, got it's it. It's called uh, Ray Token. Okay. Um, yeah, so like I earned a lot of my rate token at 10 or 11 cents and it's now worth like $3. Right? Holy so, shit. Oh, yeah, right. I'm seeing some, need the right. I'm need, seeing some appreciation. I do, I do not need this fight for money. I mean, there's some people surmising that. Um, I've great been word. very- Surmising, Great huh? fucking word. Way we go. like word. That'd be decent like vocabulary. Oh, yeah, it's good. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I just, I, I, I mean, obviously I appreciate getting paid. That's going to be great, right? Um, but I, I kind of like, I needed something to get in shape for. And this sounds like a good time. I get to beat up a YouTuber. It's going to be tremendous. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber. He's like, no, he, th he hates the platform so much, he won't even call it by his name. He's like, YouTuber. Any thoughts on Chainlink? Uh, so I think something in the Oracle space is going to be really big. I think by Chainlink is leading right now. Yep. And then something in the DeFi space. I think those two those two spaces, something's going to go like 100 extra from we're, here. We're big on Stinky Linky. We you like Link? Yeah, we, we like the Link. What about the DeFi space? You guys like anything there? No, nah, we don't know like, what you're saying, man. So DeFi uh, is a decentral, decentralized finance, decentralized exchange where people just exchange with each other. There's no third-party intermediary. So like, for example, Uniswap is one. Oh, um, oh Uniswap, yeah. we, we use Uniswap. Sorry, uh, yeah. ERS, okay. is it ERSL? ERSL, like I mean, are, we doing, are we doing this all right now? Because like, no, we can no, we nah, stop been, right there. I've been keeping my my picks kind of low key, and when the time's well, right, I'm gonna come out and be like, well, let's be honest, how how low key? Have you guys had a? Have you guys? <laughs> oh, I tweeted about the one. I tweeted about the one. The whole fucking e e e the ether scan oh, yeah, is my, fucking public. Yo, I tweeted about SFI, and uh, I, I believe that's decentralized, isn't it? Uh, a YFI maybe also. Uh, I'm talking about Saffron, Saffron Finance. Oh, I don't know that one. So my, I accidentally put my. Ethereum address on the uh, <laughs> on the screen, so yeah, you know, they could like they could track oh, every, yeah, they can every everything move I make. you make. Yes, and uh, you don't want the government to have that. No, so I'm just like I'm holding my bags right now, but still, everyone's making assumptions, and it sucks, man. It sucks. Yeah. I gotta I gotta find. Yeah, but you could always start. You could also start another account. Right? Yeah, but yeah. They, but if they if they can track wherever you I send it, once they have your ledgers. Account, yes, like well, but but also like fucking whatever, dude. I, I plan I plan on making some big moves. Like if you want to if you want to follow me, and then yeah. also like I might play you sometimes. So I'll I'll lead you down a path. <laughs> I take your money, you motherfucker. <laughs> have, have you guys had a big Bitcoin run here? Nah, we just started, dude. The dip by yeah. late. You We're guys should late. get uh, you know, Andrew Pomp. Um, we know Pomp's great. We know. he's tremendous. Um, yeah. Man, there's a lot of really good people in the space. Are you so you're tight with them? Uh, I met him a couple of times. I was on a show once. Um, oh, 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 you yeah. were on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool that you're into that. Um. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no, no question? <laughs> no, that's it, man. Uh, uh, I'm paying. I'm paying John on this project in, in Ray Token. Are you serious? Really? Yeah, for sure. Well, because because well, you know what? He he's he's having a lot of FOMO because last year when he was my vlog guy, um, you know, I was earning the Ray Token at ten and eleven cents, and I offered to pay him in Ray Token, and he said no. <sighs> and now it's worth three dollars, and he's thinking, oh my gosh, I could have made so much money last summer. It's gonna drop, dog. <laughs> Well, not Ray. Only. Ray's going up. Or you can get on Logan, something else. Logan Paul's going to so join the Rockfin <laughs> Network. And uh, wait, you, you were know? vlogging. You were a, U a YouTuber too. When you were no, you said no you were only vlogging? Rockfin. Only Rockfin. Oh, you were doing yes, that. Yes, oh, Rockfin. It, got it, got Don't it, got you guys it. realize the problem with digital networks that they have too much control? We also have our own platform. I mean, which yeah. one? We have a premium subscription service. Which awesome. I believe you do but, too. But, but then you don't get the uh, you don't get the network effect, right? So, for example, if you're A and you're B and you're C and you all each have ten. A plus B plus C and digital networks mean more than 30. Not yet. The particular platform we're on may be able to optimize in the future where mm. there is a network effect, like where you can yeah. choose which creators you're subscribing to, Ooh, which content. Nice. It's, but we it's, also, it's, but, it's great, actually. But, but we also believe, although that's a more effective system, uh, yeah. sorry, efficient system for the creators, mm. we think it's more effective for the end user currently because people know what they want to fucking see and they pay for it. Yes. So like when you go on Netflix and you want to watch the new Rambo movie that's yeah. coming out, it says, sorry, Rambo isn't available, but these following titles kind so of annoying. like it are. You don't give a fuck about those. You want to know what you want to see? Fucking yes. Rambo. Yes. So right now, the way it's set up is you pay for what you want and you yes. get that. But mm -hmm. we're, we're looking at a couple different yeah. options. What? Are, no more Twitter questions. You just went with one, two? They, they, they it suck was, it was It was kind of lame. Like it, we were asking things we already asked. That's so, all. So uh, let me ask you this. Where did you wrestle in high school? I know it was Ohio, but what school specifically? Westlake, Ohio. Man, Westlake. I wrestled 
some good dudes. Who's that the is, best guy you ever wrestled? His name oh, is Dominic oh, Abunader. Oh, no. Dominic Abunader? Oh, Saint yeah. Ed's? Okay, I know him. How do you know from St. Ed's? I mean, I follow wrestling. I'm a huge wrestling wow, fan. Wow, he really follows he, wrestling. St. Ed's, and then he went to Michigan, obviously, and now he's wrestling for, he's actually wrestling for Lebanon. Oh, the Did you know this? does he know he's wrestling that? for an entire country? <laughs> yeah, well, so- The whole Mi Lebanon's on his shoulders. <laughs> no, like, you know, does he know The that? University of Michigan, has, they've actually kind of gamed the system a little bit. They're- they're getting oh. guys to wrestle. So the Mean Brothers wrestle for San Marino. Abinator wrestles for uh, Lebanon. <laughs> Dave Habit wrestles for. Um, this is too. Bro, do you understand? I don't really, remember what other ben, country. Dave Habit, that's an Ohio guy too. You probably know him. The the name Abinator yeah. creates a, a, a I, horrific. I, I, I did this. Oh. I did this. I did this. <sighs> Wasn't so good, huh? No. Oh. Let me pull up the picture. <laughs> uh oh. Well, you know who your brother got wrecked by that I put on on Instagram. I saw that. That was my guy. So Ben Darmstadt, he came to my Funky Fresh camp, um, like four years maybe or something. That, that he's at Cornell good. right now. He's that very, was, he's very good. That kid was good. Yeah, man. So, so a little. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen this. Little backstory on this. Um, I was I was good, right? Yeah. There was there were some guys who were great. Uh huh. And it was very clear that you know Dominic Abunader was one of those guys. Like. Uh, three-time state champion, yes. freshman, sophomore, junior. Like when a freshman wins at states, it's good. Also at like not a not a lightweight class. I think he was like one fifty-two, which yeah. was, he's a big boy. Something something's going on. So I came to wrestle this guy. Um, uh, I avoided him at sectionals, but caught him. What do you What do you mean you avoided him? So <laughs> how do you do that at sectionals? I, oh, I avoided him. But how? He so, lost on purpose. So, really? No, 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 no. So I, I made it to the championship match, but in the match, I the right before I kind of tweaked my knee a little bit. And oh. I was like, eh, nah, nah. cause you already advanced if you're in the top yeah, four yeah, to district. You. So uh -huh. I was like, I was like, hmm, there's a good chance he kicks my fucking ass. Uh -huh. And also like I'm kind of hurt. I don't really want to risk it too. Ah, I, was like, I, was, I was out. Huh. But then I caught him at districts. And what happened? For first place. This happened. Uh oh. Oh man, that doesn't really even look like you. That's me, man. Really? That's Do you me. have a black eye in that picture. By uh, yeah, yeah. Some some guy need me in the face during the same oh, tournament. Oh man, you know that's not legal in wrestling. Uh, right? uh elbowed. Sorry, elbow. That's elbow. also not legal. Yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no he, he got he got point. But um, so is that in Cleveland? Westlake's in Cleveland. This was at Ash Ashland Community okay. College. Got it. Um, and yeah, man, wrestling's a, a crazy hard sport, and it's 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 weird because I knew I was. I was good, dude. Uh -huh. Like I'd beat probably 90, 95 to ninety nine percent of the guys yeah. that face. But then you come up against guys like this, sure. who walks through everybody. Yeah, and it, it's a mind fuck because you you think you're at a certain level. Levels and then, to this. No, this levels to this yeah, shit. Yeah, of course. Were you at that level? Uh, Ab well, <laughs> Abner was never at my level though. Oh. Not even close. No, he's an Olympic wrestler. Yeah, I mean, well, he never won NCAA title either. <laughs> Um, and I won two Hodge trophies. So I think that's pretty safe to say. He was very, very high level. I think he was a three-time All-American at Michigan. Um, His name's scarier than yours. Abinator. Yeah, like, he, like he's going to come fuck <laughs> yeah. you up. Yeah. He's going to come back name. from the future. Ben, to ben kill sounds your... nice. Yeah. Yo, Wait, so was, yo, there, I, was there no other really, really high-level people you wrestled ever? Uh, uh, he, uh, he was by far the best that okay. stands out. Um, the other ones, I either beat him or like lost by a point. He very God. clearly... Abunated me. Yeah. Dominic Abunated me. Was it a thing? Did people say that? Like, is he the Abunator? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? They call him the Terminator. Oh, I told you my boys came up to me before the match and were like, yo, we found oil in his bag. I was like, what do you mean? They're like, he's a fucking robot. Oh, man. So did you ever consider wrestling in college or were you like a, a star by this point? No, I, 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 was, I was smart. Um, okay. And so I took the uh, or the academic scholarship. Oh, um, all right. And also I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't like in love with it. I, okay. I got bad knees. It kind of fucked up my legs. That's why mm -hmm. I like boxing. Mm -hmm. Super upper body based. But yo, I- <laughs> Boxing is really a lot easier on your body than mixed martial arts. I'll tell you I, that I, much. I know, yes. I know. And it's as uh, as someone with not the strongest uh, lower body, mm -hmm. it, it works really well for me. I told Dom, uh, I, th I think it, I said this somewhere. Um, I would love to. I'd love to box him now. Like Dominic like, Abner. Finally, something I'm good at. Like I'd love to. Like, <laughs> what if get gloves yo, on? What, if, what if he comes? What if, <laughs> that would be the worst thing ever. Yeah. He's like, come on, man. Why don't you come spar me in my backyard? He comes in here and just fucking just pieces my you up. Oh my god. What would you be, do? He's like Lebanon wrestling, Iraq boxing. boxing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> you, I can see you on the ground like this, Abunader. Someday I will have my revenge. <laughs> Drone shot of it. Just, ah, just takes off. Yeah, he's doing. He's doing really well. Uh, 
I, I don't think he qualified for the Olympics though. But so Michigan had like uh, Miles Mean, for example, qualified the Olympics for San Marino. So he's wrestling at the Olympics, but for the country of San Marino, not for America. What made you so good at wrestling? Because when you said like everything you do, you look funny. Yeah. I felt that. Yeah. You don't appear to I'm be not, this yeah. this superstar athlete, Let's, but you yeah. were, especially in this so, specific vertical. Um, so I guess when I, you know, I had a lot of success because I worked pretty hard in high school. And then when I got to college, um, athletically, I couldn't keep up with anybody. In the weight room, I was way behind, runs behind. And you know, I, even then you're like, well, there's guys like Tyron Woodley. Athletically, I can't keep up with him. And so there was this thing like, okay, I want to be great at this. How do I be great at this? And that was kind of where a lot of the scrambling and you know the funky name kick came from is I had to figure out a way for myself to win because I couldn't do it the way a lot of other people went, you know, were doing it. And my coaches were open to that and they helped me and they were great. And, you know, by the time I was, you know, four years later, it's like I kind of revolutionized the way folk style wrestling was done. But you're talking about college. College, yeah. So in high school, though, were you uh, good? I was starting to have, you'd be, there's just such a difference between high school and college wrestling. I mean, uh, yeah, like the sure. levels are way different. Sure. Um, I Yeah, I was starting to get better. So and I always had success in the state of Wisconsin, but nationally, the first time I ever placed was after my junior year of high school. So, you know, I was like 17 at that point. So it kind of took me a while to have success there. Um, but yeah, and then college, it's like, even my, my freshman year, I lost 10 matches in my redshirt season. And it was like, to, you know, guys oh. were good, but not that good. Um, and then, you know, I really made a jump the next year and I only lost eight matches in my college career. You know, seven, seven were to one freaking guy, Whoa. uh, Chris Pendleton, who's the, he's the head coach at Oregon state right now. Uh, he just had my number. He's at Oklahoma state. And I only beat him once. So does yeah. your non-traditional style <clears throat> contribute to people underestimating you? And, and, uh, do you like that? If, if people do underestimate you? Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, literally like I was not being facetious. I kind of look funny in a lot of things that I do. Um, and it's like, I, you know, Brian Snyder, I, I was 87 and 0 my last two years and I won the Hodge trophy for the best college wrestler. And he's like, he's literally like, you don't do anything right. How did you win so many matches? I mean, that's literally what people thought because I did a lot of things differently. And, uh, but I just found ways to make them work. I think that that's kind of where like a lot of people have really high level success because once you start doing things differently, um, there, there's not a lot of replication of that, right? And it's in any field. And so then when other people have to face you, they struggle because they can't get the replica of you. And I did the same thing in MMA. People could not find a replica of me. And you think, you know, like the other guy who did kind of what I did was Khabib. And it's like, people couldn't find a replica of Khabib. You literally don't know what that feels like until you're fucking underneath him getting punched in the face a hundred times. And by then it's too late, you know? So I think that kind of helped a lot. Are you from Wisconsin? Yeah, so I, I, well, I was born in Iowa, lived in Wisconsin, <clears throat> five to 18. Uh, went to the University of Missouri, coached there for two years, coached Arizona State for two years. Then I was kind of having some su su uh, success in mixed martial arts. And I said, okay, I should move home. I moved home and I fought at uh, Rufus. I, don't, I was only asking because I wanted to see if you ever had a butter burger from Culver's. Ah, oh, yes, I have. My, <laughs> my, my kids like it more than I do, but yeah. What's your go-to moderate speed burger chain? Uh, I, I like five guys a lot. Got it. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, That's yeah. a great answer. I'm here <laughs> yeah. for that. Answer. I'm a, I'm a shake shack at the very top okay. of five guys. is just Yeah. A, it's also show. like the only thing that's open and I, I live kind of like out in the suburbs, you know? And yep. so when I get done with practice at nine o'clock and I'm going home, if my wife doesn't have dinner, uh, it's one of the only things open. Georgia used to work there. Yep. For real. <laughs> yeah. I used to work at five nice. guys. So good things or bad things to say about them. Uh, good. I, oh, no, every place great. I've ever worked at, I've, uh, I've loved. In fact, I worked there and they loved me so much. The guy's next door opening up a buckle, like a jean store. <laughs> and the guy came in, he goes, whatever they're paying you, I'll pay you more. And I said, all right, turn around to my manager. And he goes, if they're paying you more, get out of here. And I literally <laughs> took off my apron, threw Wait, it, what? went next door. <laughs> and they got mad at me there because you kind of have to lie to people and say they look good in jeans. And I was like, I, don't go to those jeans. They don't look good on you. And they were like 200 bucks. You're lying. Ones, I swear to God. I go, and oh these ones are like goodness. 60. And the guy pulled me aside. He goes, hey, maybe you should go back to five guys. <laughs> and I literally just walked back to the <laughs> two weeks Wait, later. The same day? No, two weeks oh. later. Yeah, he walked back like, hey, how y'all doing? Hey. I swear to God, he threw an apron at me. He's like, get the fuck to work. And I was like, oh. <laughs> So that was my little five guy story. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wow, <laughs> you've been—he's wow. he's been a cook for a, a couple places. I worked at Be Benny, Benny Hanna's, Hanna's right? Oh, that's, that's why nice. I practiced stand up. My first joke was, "How did you guys get a Middle Eastern at a, at a <laughs> Japanese chef?" <laughs> they would just die of laughter. So it was good. Uh, yeah. Nice. Hey. Oh my goodness! That's really sweet. Really wow. sweet. I like you, man. You're a nice guy. So how how cool. did you guys meet then? I stalked him. 
Did, did, did he find you uh, at, at the Five stock, Guys? To bought stocks. No, I, the I, moon, was, man. I was having like a really bad day and I went to the gym and I saw him and I, and I finessed him to give me his number. For real? I swear. Yeah. No, that's a joke. I yeah. swear to ask no, him. yeah. All these all these stories are weird. Everyone in this house who I've met is fucking weird. I mean, you have a collective of, of very weird, weird people. Odd people. Hey, but don't yeah, act yeah. like you don't know. This this camera guy's giving me some weird vibes. <laughs> yeah, talk well, to us about I, Singapore. I have, question. I, I, I have questions about John. So John was a collegiate wrestler at uh, UW Whitewater and we had some mutual friends and um, I needed a vlog guy and he started and he, he kills it. He does a great job. Do you have to be a wrestler to work on your team? Uh, well, John moved to State College, unfortunately, to work for Scrap Life and the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club, but he comes back to help me sometimes. Uh, I, and yes, I, you know what? I may have Asperger's, um, but so I only have very specified interests and I have a really hard time talking to people about things I'm not interested in. So when they're a wrestler, it makes things a lot easier. Okay. You know, and like, you know, if they're a wrestler, and I don't know if you just, you just fucking grab them. <laughs> right? Oh. You grab them up a little bit. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And they're None cool. None of you guys want like, to help. I've been and they're not saying help. They're I've not been, saying help. I've been they're waiting like, for that to happen gotta, for a long to, time. You're, George, you're supposed to fight me back. <laughs> okay. No, okay. No, okay. No, 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 George, stop, 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 stop. What? Fucking stop. Don't do it. It's just going to make him more mad. No, no, no. Georgie, don't. George, don't. George. George, no. George, stop. I George, please. I got him right where I want him. <laughs> I just really not to hurt him. I don't want to put him in. Do you have no. enough, Ben? <laughs> Did you have, don't make me give you good. more. That was good. <sighs> George, George got the power. I wrestled Ben. That was you nice. wrestled Ben Askren. Yes. Let me guess that's the title of your next podcast. <laughs> No, because no. Reed didn't fucking get oh, it. You'll get the shit. footage from somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, looks yeah, like but, you just got put through a dryer, dude. No, I got put through Ben. <laughs> I think we're like best friends now. I might steal him from my show. I'm not going to follow you on Instagram, man. You're a good guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Fuck. but you know, like, John, I can kick him or punch him, and he's cool with it. So. Yo, I, I was going to... Yeah, he tries to defend. Really? Me. See, no, I was gonna say I don't like when wrestlers come up to me and like try to fucking touch me. Like, really? Don't, don't fucking touch me. So I might try to touch you then before we leave. <laughs> you're you're different. <laughs> <laughs> How did you already post on set? Oh my goodness. What? I'm, I'm quick, right? How do you do that? Maybe probably someone working with him. But no, I just did it when I was over there when you guys oh, were doing the introduction. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Nice. You don't face tune, huh? I gotta oh. comment that. Here we go. Oh, why, yeah. why, Georgie, you don't like the way you look in this photo? I look very depressed, but he probably already. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. Imagine, I, he, I, imagine he face tunes a smile on you. You know somebody's gonna comment the I'm following. Not, I'm not that high. You track. know somebody's gonna comment. Of course, Mike's talking. <laughs> 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 yeah. Which, how, how did you two meet? Bean bags. Yeah. Like the game? Nah, like the <laughs> seats. Love sack. Ever heard of Love Sack before? Yes. Yeah, I do. giant bean bag uh -huh. company. I used to run the marketing for him. Uh, and he reached out looking for one and he said, uh, hey, can I have sex on these things? And I said, uh, yeah, they're in great. the store? No, he, he reached out to me through a, an agency connect. I was uh, at the brand headquarters. Kind of awkward. And I yeah. It was. It, it was, was. It was well, but well, no, he, it wasn't awkward. Because that's was, why I was gauging him. He was he was funny. I could tell he's like funny. <laughs> and we were like kind of like bantering about some bullshit once. And well, I was like, I'm gonna test this dude. Like I was like, yo, can I fuck on these? I think you should have said, you're not hitting on me, are you? No, nah, because then he would have said, yo, man, you're kind of weird, dude. Don't ever talk to me again. I and I wouldn't end the show would have never happened. No, he, uh, said, he, said some shit, he, he said some shit like, yeah. what'd you say? The, the, yeah, you could, uh, the, the covers are machine washable, so the cum washes right out. Of oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was the all, the oh, only man. answer he needed. Soon I after, hope, we hope, oh, went man. to Travis Rashana's house, and Roman Atwood came, and it was a beautiful thing. There then I go. met George, and my life got Where'd you meet your wife? Great. Uh, you know, funny story. It was a concert, and uh, this is this is a great story. Actually, I I went there. I had a friend who broke her leg. Um, I had met the owner of the facility. They got me four tickets. My girlfriend was sick that night, and my friend got us a table because her leg was broken. And so we had one seat open. Boom! My wife walks in. She starts talking, and then we started talking. Hit it off. Hold on. Then, she just she was alone. She came alone. Yeah. She came alone to the concert. Yeah. And then who invited her to the table? Or she, um, she just kind of walked. She kind of walked up there, and then she started talking to my other friend. Did she know who you were? Was she a stat girl? Uh, she says she does not know who I was, mm. but you know, you never know. Maybe she's lying. Oh, she clown for yeah. This was like what, like over a decade ago? Yeah, this is two thousand. We met in November of two thousand seven. Yeah, so I was oh, done with my wow, college. Good career. for you, man. Yeah, good. No, you know, honestly, that's awesome. We got married in two thousand ten. Yeah, so it's been maybe it's been maybe that's also a reason that you're so just like transparent about everything yeah. and just chill like life goes on because yeah, in the end sure. of the day Bro, it, do, it does really no life goes on dude <laughs> yes it goes like, on it goes on but you also have just like the security and, and fulfillment of a family, family. Yeah. and you yeah. realize that you know life is like a surprise 
bigger just winning and losing sometimes. Like, yeah. you know, keep the ones you love around you and you you got a you got a whole thing going. Yeah. So and I think the other thing is um, you know, that a lot of people are it's, uh they have low self esteem about certain issues. And it's like if you just have self awareness and really like it well, helps someone gonna make fun of me for having love handles, like I got fucking love handles. What do you do about it? So right? It or, helps or, immensely. You know, <laughs> and they, you take <laughs> all the wind out of the yeah, sails. Like, they're they in get, in a huge way right now. It's, dude, it's, ask me on my DMs. Look, I'm fucking good with my love oh handles, my God. dude. All right. Oh. They're in. Everybody loves a nice love handle. Yeah. So you, you just accept it, right? You accept it for what it is and you move on. And George does. Yeah. <laughs> you you, you George, are a coach. What, what, do, you get you are what a do you get roasted about, George? Everything. What do you mean? What? Literally everything. Look at his hair. But I also, I, yeah, <laughs> I also don't care either. So good. I'm kind of like you, but like I want to be more like you. You take shit like very calmly. <laughs> yeah. He's roll, He's rolling with the punches. Yeah. Is, is all he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Did you brush your hair this morning? Because it doesn't look like you. Well, you, you just put it in your fucking head. I don't usually. I don't usually, just put I don't your usually fucking brush armpit, my hair, bro. I don't usually brush my hair. I didn't put you in my armpit. I put you in this little headlock. Mostly to subdue you, because I did. There's subdue. No, there's of all there's no like, a, like a zoo I animal. Have a girlfriend. I can't. Where can I put you on the floor? <laughs> my, I will not put, be subdued. Okay? If I put you on the floor, I'm gonna break something. So I just had to, you know, subdue you a little bit. All right. Well, you yeah. didn't have to put me in an armpit. <laughs> I have, no, it was my arm. Not my. Armpit. I have one more thing. Yes. I was gonna sign off. I forgot about this. Uh oh. Uh, uh, Jake has sent a special, me a special oh, message. Oh, this is gonna be funny. I bet. I um, I have not seen it. Wait, what's it? Oh, oh no, Georgie, George, leave him alone. Wrong with you? Leave him alone. Oh. I already need my hands. <laughs> Just, you don't even know what you're doing. Got him! <laughs> Matt, his vlog title just changed. <laughs> I tapped out Ben Askren. <laughs> you, just, you see it in real time. Okay, folks. so now what do I do? I call other people out, right? This is what happens when you win? <laughs> who, yeah. do you want, who do you next? want to fight? I don't want to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I almost forgot. Um, uh -oh. Jake sent a special message. I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen it. So he, here it goes. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Ben, what's up, you ugly motherfucker? You middle-aged Dutch woman, ugly Napoleon Dynamite looking. He should stop shaking his camera. I know you're probably sitting there right now with your little pedo smile, your little big ass ears, your octagon-shaped head. You think this is a fucking game? You think this is a fun payday? You think this is a way to get clout? And yeah, you might be right, but I promise, I promise, April 17th will be the worst day of your fucking life. Just as I asked Nate Robinson's kids not to watch the fight, I will ask your kids not to do the same. So Ben Askren's kids, wife, please don't watch this because your dad will be bloodied, unconscious on the fucking canvas April 17th. And I don't want you guys to see that. I mean, you already saw him get knocked out in five seconds by Masvidal. I mean, your kids are probably going to school getting made fun of because their dad got knocked out in five seconds and then he's going to get knocked out by Jake Paul. So please leave them out of this. You fucked up, Ben, by taking this fight. And April 17th, I promise to my team, my family, my brother who's there right next to you right now, I promise to make you go down in history as the world's worst UFC fighter. You're dumb as fuck, bro. April 17th, I'm gonna show the world just how big of a bitch you are. I'm gonna make you my bitch. I fucking promise that. And P.S. I know a good barber who can help you cut that Brillo pad off the top of your fucking head. Peace out, guys. Logan, what's up? Ben, See, you're a bitch. like, uh, what's here's up? my rebuttal. I up? have genius level you? IQ. My hair is outstanding. <laughs> what's the no, issue? Neither of those are true. That those I definitely have genius level IQ. And his, hair, his hair is pretty. Hair is pretty. pretty. And my hair is outstanding. He has some nice great curls. curls. I have nice curls. Nice curls. curls. And I definitely have genius, genius level IQ. We t what's your IQ? Test me. What's your IQ? At least 160. Yo, no, what? Test, test me. That, that's <laughs> not, <laughs> now that's not true. What do you mean? I can't. I one time I, I got a 146, but I was driving the car. Wait, and doing that it in one hand. No, I stop. did it on one no hand. Way. No, no, I was no, driving no. the car. Listen, the two dudes in the back seat got an argument about who had higher IQ. This dude and I said, just Jared. I'm gonna and do, find their IQ test. No, I'm gonna do the same thing. Ben, yeah, well, 46 is, is is above genius. That's, That's what I'm insane. trying to tell you. That's this is what I'm trying, level. I'm trying to tell you. This. It wouldn't surprise me. Yes, but I also don't believe it right off the rip. 
right? Well, we, if, can, if, we can if, try if, it. If it did, Bring someone. You got some, someone here to do an IQ test. Yo, me. hey, my IQ guy in the back <laughs> left corner. Could you, you come up and someone get someone on Twitter? Yo, that, testing you have in your back pocket? How many octopuses is there in the scene? Was that harder to watch for anybody after having hung out with this guy? I wish I didn't play it at the end. I kind of, I was like, should I unfollow Ben now? I just followed him. I don't really know. I mean, he's trying to be intimidating, but it wasn't very intimidating. I mean, I've spent the last decade of my life getting there with guys who like are real killers with four ounce gloves who could kick me or knee me or elbow me or really do anything they want. Um, so the fact that, you know, he can just punch me, that's, that's pretty easy comparatively. You're not buying it. Um, no, I, I think in his head, he's convinced himself of a narrative that's going to take place. Um, and he has to say things to make himself feel good and stuff. But, uh, yeah, very, very little of that was true. Um, yeah, I don't know. My kids have a great life. They're so happy. I'll show you some videos. <laughs> I want kids one day, Ben. I want kids one day. And uh, you're so you're so positive and happy. It's great. It's, you can't, it's this is going to go it this way. It sucks because I wish bulletproof. the problem with it is just like, it's so hard to like be Jake in this situation because everybody watches it and I think they're just like, damn, like Ben seems like a pretty nice guy. I'm like, why is this? <laughs> He's a genius. Yeah, yeah, are you, are you doing this on purpose, Ben? Oh, <laughs> fuck, he got us. Fuck, Thanks ben. for watching Impulsive, guys. You can follow Ben Askren on Instagram at Ben Askren oh. and on Twitter at Ben Askren. I uh, appreciate you coming on, bro. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you it. April 17th yes, sir. on Triller in right. Atlanta, Georgia, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I will be there. All right. Cool. I will be there. Uh, that's it. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.